Hello everyone and welcome to our very first Black Lightning Robotics tutorial video. We are doing a tutorial series about bot building. The principles of, of bot building are going to apply to all kinds of engineering projects, so we're going to try to keep things as broad as possible, but for anything specific we're going to be using fighting robots as our example for engineering. So uh, there are all kinds of technical goodies to get into. We're going to be, do, be doing some advice videos on material choices and part shapes and manufacturing methods and how to design for manufacturing, all sorts of goodies. There's also going to be some stuff on how to organize a design process or how to get into the right mindset for robot building and that's actually going to be this video. So, there are a whole lot of technical details and there are a whole lot of decisions you're going to have to make building a robot. It's helpful to avoid jumping right into all of those right at the beginning. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video, is getting into the right mindset for designing a robot and asking the right questions. We're not here to tell you exactly what the right answers are to all those decisions because there are a whole lot of answers and everything is going to depend on your specific application and what it is you want out of your robot. And I cannot stress this enough, every robot is different. There are so many ways to build a fighting robot, it's not even funny. Before you start getting into the nitty gritty of the design of your robot, there are three big questions that you're going to have to answer. The first one is, what do you want to accomplish? So your own personal goal. Now this can apply to pretty much anything design related, but in the context of fighting robots, this is going to be your, your personal goal in the world of robot fighting. You know, what kind of bot you want, what kind of its purpose is going to be, kind of, you might have a vague image of what you want it to look like, and then you got to set some priorities. Do you want to prioritize looks? Do you want to prioritize it being cheap? Do you want to prioritize winning? Do you want to prioritize cool factor? There are a whole lot of different things that you can prioritize in a fighting robot. So you need to get that list of priorities and goals and things together pretty much at the start. Uh, the second question. That's going to be, what event are you going to, and what is the rule set of that event? Now, it is a bad feeling to show up to an event and have your robot not be eligible to compete, because it doesn't conform to the rules. This can be it being overweight, or it having an illegal weapon, or what have you. But you're going to need to find a, an event local to you, and uh, the Builders DB or RobotCombatEvents.com or uh, you know other sites are going to be really helpful to you here for finding an event and then they usually have an info page where you can find the rule set for that event. A lot of events will have similar rules. A lot of them are common sense stuff like, our arena floor is made of wood, so please don't bring flamethrowers. Stuff like that. There are a lot of standard rules. Most combat events don't allow projectiles, various things, but that's all gonna be event specific. I won't go into too many of the details there, but you're gonna need to find out the rules before you start designing your robot because it has to fit within those rules. All right, big question number three. What are my resources and budget? This is gonna come down to what tools do you have? Uh, what equipment do you have around? What else is available in your area that can help you? You know, maybe there are some maker spaces nearby that have more equipment than you. You might be able to join up and do a lot of building there. Generally, bare minimum to build a robot. Well, bare minimum is one thing, but uh, for most people, a robot is gonna need at least a drill um, you know, some screwdrivers, however you, you do that. Um, something to cut materials out or to otherwise fabricate. 3D printing is really useful, but not everyone has a 3D printer. So it's all going to come down to what you can make and also what you're willing to spend on a combat robot. And that's going to kind of determine what weight class you compete in and uh, what kind of weapon you want to build and what materials you might use based on how expensive they are or, you know, how nice your robot looks. It might not have the precise machining look that a lot of robots have. So those are a few things to consider. A lot of areas do have really nice maker spaces though. So it's worth researching and checking those out to see if you can find something that'll help you make a robot good. Now, once you've laid out answers to these three questions, you're going to have to go through them again. And perhaps again, and again, and again to make sure all of your answers line up with each other. This is going to be very important as you go through the design process. 
You have to make sure everything matches in your list of priorities and the event you're going to and the resources and budget you have. If your idea is to build a heavyweight robot and go to BattleBots and your budget and resources include a hand drill and 50 bucks, mm, that's not quite going to work. You're going to find that almost every one of your decisions in this design process is going to be answered by one of these three questions. One last note to make is that your fellow builders in the builder community, like the Combat Robotics Group and other places where builders congregate, are more than happy to answer your questions. But it helps them to help you if your questions are well laid out. So I really encourage you to take a look at the things I've laid out here and try to determine at least a narrowed down set of answers to your question before asking other builders to help you make your decision. So I hope that this has been helpful to steer everyone in the right direction and to help people get started on designing robots. Like I said, there are going to be plenty more videos to follow. Soon we're going to be uploading a video detailing our story of how we got started building robots. So that should be amusing for, uh, for anyone in the robot community. We had a lot of fun recording it. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned to our channel for, uh, for more of these videos. And as always, happy roboting!